CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a coax camera, and especially if you're not seeing video at nighttime. This video may not apply to your coax camera because some of the features that I'm going to show at the end may not be present in your camera. But here I've got a coax camera, it has a B and C output. And here's a BNC connection and a power connection. It's going through a 100 foot cable and back into the DVR. This is a video from this wire going back into my DVR and there's a power which is going into a power adapter. This power adapter has a rating on it. You should always check the rating on your power adapter. This one says it's 12 volt, two amp. If you notice here, the line under that output says two, one, two V and then two A. The solid line and the dash line means it's a DC connection. So this connection is a DC connection. A barrel connector is usually always a DC connection here. I've got my cable reconnected. Now I've got the camera here and the reason I'm making this video is someone reported that they're not seeing um, anything at nighttime. First, I've shown you how to properly connect a camera to the cable and to the power supply. And as you can see, there's daytime video coming from the camera. I'm going to ask my coworker to turn the lights off. And here we go. The camera sees in black and white at nighttime. This is what night vision is. Cameras will switch to nighttime, to black and white at nighttime, and they will have infrared LEDs that turn on. This particular camera has about 300 feet of infrared, and you can see these bright LEDs. They will turn on at nighttime. So if you have a camera that's not giving you a picture at nighttime, it's completely black, then there's something happening where one, you're not getting enough power to the camera. So the first thing I would do is I would walk outside to the camera and take a look at it and see if, I, if you see these glowing LEDs. If you do, then that means there's power getting to the camera and the LEDs are glowing. So there's night vision happening. But if you don't see anything on the camera, then that means the camera's video sensor is not working. So let's recap that again. At nighttime, if the LEDs are glowing, that means the infrareds are working, but you don't see any video at all, that means the camera's sensor is not working. Granted, you don't have your hand or something else on the camera. Even then, the LEDs will make, will provide a picture that's like glow, like white like this. So if I move my hand away, bring it back. So if there was an obstruction, it will still glow white on it because these are lights that the camera can see at nighttime and they are appearing as white here. So as I move into the frame and out, you can see that it changes what it's seeing. So I'm gonna turn the lights back on and show you what the infrared LEDs do. So there's a very slight click that the camera does when you turn the lights on or off. There's something called an IR cut filter that turns on or off. And of course the LEDs are no longer glowing. This is not white light, it's uh, IR light. So if you have an issue that's happening like this, you wanna make sure first you're using the right power supply. In this case, like I showed you, a two amp. Make sure it's connected directly to the camera cable here. and the cable is going into the camera. You can also troubleshoot this by bringing the camera indoors, just like I have here, using a short cable. So like, for example, I always recommend customers have a, a short cable like this. It's like a three foot long cable. And then use that to test it with your DVR and connect the power supplies, power connection, directly into the camera's pigtail, not through the cable. That helps resolve or pinpoint any issues you may have with your cabling that's already present. Now the last thing which may not be present on your camera, but it is for this particular case, it is setting the OSD menu on the camera. In case by accident it's been, some settings have been modified, this joystick on this particular camera lets me change the settings in the camera. So if I press it in like a button, 
like this, this menu pops up. And I can use this as a joystick. I'm trying to lift the camera up to show you in the same frame. So if I use this as a joystick to go down, you'll see that the highlighted settings are changing on the screen. I would like you to go to reset and press in on the button again. The screen flashes, that means it's reset its settings. And then exit. Okay, so what I did was I pressed down, the menu came up, I went to reset. Just be careful if you're on the language, you don't accidentally do what I just did. And there are tons of languages in these cameras sometimes. There we go. So go on reset. Hit the button down again. And that's it. I'm using the uh, flicking motion to go up and down in the, the menus. And then click exit. If your camera has this on-screen display menu, that's what that was. You want to reset the camera settings to make sure no setting was enabled that's uh, not allowing the camera to see at nighttime. Sometimes with in exposure or day and night settings that can be done. Hopefully you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.